What's up, modern steaders? We got a few hours this morning worth of time we can put in on the outdoor kitchen. So let's see how much siding we can get done on that back wall. I might be a little crazy, but I want to try to sheet that back wall all in one length. I don't want to have to have two pieces, so in the center, the peak from bottom to top is 16 feet long. So fingers crossed we can get this done and it won't be too hard. Let's see how much we can get done today. I love these cable cuffs or cable ties for keeping your all your cords wound up nice and neat. I think getting this first board up is going to be the trickiest one. We just want to make sure we get it nice and straight on the edges. And then after that, all the other boards we can just flush up to it. This board we just got to be a little bit more fussy with. I'm going to take my square and flush up the edges. Checking all the way up. All right, let's try to get a pry bar in here and pry this over. It's not off that far, but this is where it really makes a big difference that you can get this stuff nice to start with. You'll know it later on. First board is up. So now if I measure the long point of the last board, that'll give me the measurement for the short point of this board. And then I just gotta remember to measure the long point and I'll have my next board line. We gotta get this one cut and then we're gonna go to the lumber yard and I'll bring you along for the ride. So we need to go to the lumber yard and pick out some 12 footer and 16 foot long rough sawn lumber. Let's go. Stop looking at yourself in the mirror. Don't worry, you look fine. The camera adds 10 pounds. Probably gonna need mostly 16s and then some 12. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing Django when I'm taking out the boards. That's a nice board.
there, that wasn't that bad of a ride to the lumber store. Alright, we ran out of nails. Let's reload the gun. I'm gonna grab our coil nails. These guns are all pretty much the same. It doesn't really matter on the brand. Make sure it's laid in nice and flat. And you gotta shut the cover on the coil nail first, and then you put the other one in place. And that locks down over this one and secures it in nicely. So what we're doing here is we're making sure the top of our board is tucked up under our roof flashing. We get that set in place. So being a tall board like this, the higher up you go, the more leverage you have. If we go like that, it's a lot easier to push it together than it is from down below.
All right, so we got the backside full length pieces all put up. We got the little eave ends we're gonna have to do over there and the big overhang over here. Actually, I only had in my head that I was gonna get half of it done. And I told myself I gotta be done by X time. I got other projects I gotta work on. But I went a half hour over. I couldn't leave just four boards left. But we got the big full length boards done. That makes me happy. Give you guys a little tour of how it all came together and looks. The bottom edge looks nice. The boards look nice. I like that look. From the inside. Ended up working out nicely. We planned and figured it so that the siding can run down below the concrete floor and stay flush. So we shouldn't have any critters coming in that way. Nice. One of the biggest reasons I want to get the back wall done first is now if it rains, I can work on the corner braces. So if it's going to rain out and I get rained out of work, I can be here working inside, undercover, staying dry. Yes! And put the corner braces in, in the back, in the back spots. For us later on this week, they're calling for some pretty heavy rain. So I know what I'll be doing. Yeah, I know what you guys will be watching for videos when they come out. We're putting in some corner braces. I gotta pick up my mask, tear down my staging, load it up, and go return it. So hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping our channel grow. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit the little bell notification. That sends you notifications when we upload videos. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.